Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Lauren and I love sewing and making stuff. And I assume you do too and that's why you're here. So we have something in common and that's pretty awesome. Um, in this video, we are going to be making this little Devon pouch. Um, I think it's by STK Patterns. Anyway, the link is down below to purchase this pattern. It is a great little pattern. Um, I have been making a ton of these just these past 24 hours um, because they're a great little wristlet. They come together quick. You can use up little scraps, like this is a separate piece, separate piece, separate piece, separate piece, and then just use a big piece of something on the back. Um, I used waterproof canvas to line these as well as using these pre-made wristlet straps that I sell on my website. They make this go so much faster. I am having a lot of fun. Um, I am using a lot of vinyls from mypunkbroidery.com. The link is down below. They have some of the most fun vinyls and you can get one pouch out of one of the sheets that they sell or you could get a few out of the roll. Um, please be very sparing the way you cut them from the sheet. Make sure you map it out, Trace, um, because you can get exactly one out of it minus this accent fabric. So this is their Geo Glitter and it's really hard to tell um, but it's kind of like a pixelated effect of glitter under a nice smooth glass like finish. Um, let's see if there, there's another one they have. This is a dragon scale. You can see that. But what you can't really see well on camera is that there's like a rainbow reflective finish to it that's so fun. You can kind of see it. Um, so like I said, these are from mypunkbroidery.com. Um, this one is one of my absolute favorites. It's like a white confetti glitter. And they also sell these really cute little mouse shaped keychains um, that you can you can buy and add to your bag as like a fun little mouse shaped item. <laughs> um, anyway, so as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun making these. I've probably got like 15 more to make until I'm done. Um, but they come together really fast. Um, I will be selling these for about $42. Of course, that is my time and my materials. Yours might come out a little differently, or you might think, no one's gonna pay that for this, why would I charge that much? Um, but just make sure that you're paying yourself enough and don't sell yourself short. Um, but other than that, just make sure that you're subscribed so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I don't have a set schedule for when I upload. Hopefully someday I can do that, but I'm really just trying to work on orders and work on um, making a bunch of stuff, you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to comment below if you did and if you're gonna be making one. So this little wristlet pouch is so easy to make and it looks really professional. What we're gonna be using is one of these half inch wide pre-made wristlet straps. They're available on my website. Um, this is honestly the quickest way to make a wristlet you'll ever encounter. So we just need the half inch snap hook and a rivet post and a rivet um, cap. So we're gonna fold this under just about a finger pinch and I'm going to put a hole in it with my rivet press. Okay. So now I can put the rivet post through. And now I'm going to add a rivet hole right there. I'm going to hole punch it. And then lay that over top. And then add the rivet cap and then you're going to set it with your rivet set. And now you have a vinyl wristlet strap that is really quick and really strong and looks really professional. Um, so I sell those through my website. We need a, an eight inch zipper and um, a six inch or larger zipper for the zippered pocket. Um, my one complaint about this pattern is that the pattern pieces are kind of uh, 
like trimmed down later. So what I did was I took the measurements given, I made one and I figured out how much I needed to cut off and then I just kind of cut some pattern pieces from that uh, because it was a lot that you had to cut off and it, I was not happy about that. <laughs> So I'm going to start with my, I have, I'm using a seven inch zipper. You could use um, a six inch zipper or you could use something longer and just kind of cut the extra bits off. Um, so I'm going to clip my zipper in place. I did iron this before I jumped on. And then I'm going to lay this square of lining fabric over top, all right sides together. Sew that down and then I'm going to press it open so that wrong sides are together. All right, and you should see your lining piece just kind of hanging out. And then we're going to top stitch. And then you're going to fold the lining up to the zipper. And if you want to, you can baste your zipper in place along the top. But I've found that it saves me some time. If I don't, I just leave it clipped. But there's what it looks like from the back. So your pocket doesn't go all the way down. It's just a nice, slim little pocket. And then you should have two of these pieces that are facing the opposite direction with the squares. So we're gonna lay that over top, line it up with the top of the zipper. You might have a little extra hanging out along the bottom, that is okay. Stitch down one side, unzip my zipper a little bit. Lay that over top. Again, there's just a little bit hanging out from the bottom, that's okay, we're gonna trim it off later. Now you'll open that seam up. You can trim off your extra zipper at this point. Uh, the pattern says to stitch down that line twice. Um, that's really not necessary. It's all about what you want it to look like. So we're just gonna do it the one time. So now I'm going to trim this down. See, it's not a whole lot to cut off versus the pattern. I think it's like a whole half inch and I was just like, uh, no, that's not going to work for me. So now you've got your top exterior piece. I'm going to lay that over the top, <laughs> clip that in place, start on one side. If you need to, unzip your zipper so you can sew through it a little easier. I will right here. Then I'll zip it back up. And because we didn't baste it in place, um, leaving it unzipped the whole time will kind of leave a space between the zipper, making it a little harder to close. We don't want that. Alright, so now we're going to open this up and top stitch there. Okay, so there is the front panel nearly, well, it's basically complete. When you unzip this, you'll see you've got a nice little pocket. There shouldn't be any holes on either side. It's all nice and secure. So we can attach the top zipper. You wanna make sure your zipper pulls are going in the same direction. 
Um, I guess you don't have to do that, but it's it's the most professional finish, I think. Um, and I I think it's really important to use the right size zipper so that your zipper isn't caught in the side seam. It lays really flat. So this is an eight inch handbag zipper. I believe I purchased it through Zipper Island on Etsy. Oh, that's right. I also like to just double check that these are about the same size. Just because with seam allowances, things could change. Yes, looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna attach my lining piece right sides together. If you wanted to, you could base your zipper in place first. Not required to. Then you top stitch through the front, but not the lining. Okay. And then I'm gonna press my lining down. Now we're ready to add the back panel. There is a small version in this pattern as well. I have not made that one just because it is so small, but hopefully I will. You could also make the large version without the little corner cutouts, and I think that would be a really nice wristlet size as well. Something that's easy, but fast. that same step top stitch only on the exterior through that seam but not through your lining okay so our exterior is ready our lining is ready and it's time to sew it together I just like to steam the lining down. Unzip your top zipper to the middle, and I do the same thing with this zipper just because you don't want it to get caught in either side seam. Okay, so we're gonna line those up. And I'm putting my zipper into the lining and lining up my top stitching on the top of the panels. And then if things are a little uneven, that is okay. Maybe it's not okay for you, but I think it's fine. We'll work it out. So starting about an inch and a half from this side cutout, the back stitch. I'm not gonna cut my fabric or my thread, I'm just gonna lift up and turn. And go straight down, make sure you're not sewing through your zipper. Just wanna sew right next to it. And I didn't catch that back fabric, so we'll do that again. My bad, y'all. There we go. Normally you would sew this all at once but things are a little mismatched. So we've sewn along all the sides now. We've left the bottom open in the lining and we're gonna square the corners. So I just reach my hand in and unzip that zipper Put my, I put two fingers in the corner just to kind of line them up. You can open that side seam or turn them in opposite directions, whatever seems to be easier with the material you've chosen to make it with. Okay. 
and just clip all four corners. We'll trim all of our excess thread. And this can easily be made on a non-industrial sewing machine. I just love my sewing machine more than my other sewing machine. Well, I guess they're both my sewing machines, but <laughs> I just love my industrial more than my domestic, so. It's so much faster. It like moves at my brain pace, you could say. All right, so now we're ready to birth it. We're gonna grab the exterior bottom through the lining bottom. Just turn it through. We push out the corners, check all of your side seams, make, no make sure nothing has been missed. out your lining corners and then I just kind of grab the sewn edges and pull it taut and then I'm going to press this down with my iron and we're going to sew that shut inside the bag and this waterproof canvas really gives the bag a little extra oomph if you will and then just push all of your corners into each other and then zip it up and I like to just clip my wristlet strap to the zipper And there you have it. It's a super quick little pouch. Really easy to make, really quick. Um, these are great Christmas gifts in my opinion. Um, if you guys are planning some holiday sewing. They hold a large phone, they can hold a chapstick, you can clip your keys to it. Um, you could even enlarge it to make a makeup bag. I think making one like this, maybe like 12 inches wide and a little bit taller would be so cool. You could fit lipsticks here, make it with clear vinyl. There's so many different options. I hope you guys have so much fun making this. If you do make one, feel free to share in our sewing group. The link is down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.